Bob, we're going to talk now a little bit about people that are approaching the 65th birthday. It's going to affect various things in their life, um, not the least of which would be Medicare. Part A, Part B, what do I do? Who do I talk to? Well, they talk to you. Correct. <laughs> but uh, what do they need to know? Well, the first thing that they're going to need to know is they're, they're going to get about 80 or 90 pieces of mail from different carriers. Um, I send out a mail piece, and we try to tell you exactly what we do. But there's a lot of deceptive mail pieces going out out there trying to get you to call and, and, and have people come in and talk to you and so forth. One of the things that we're here, we're here um, all year round to help people with their problems and, and the issues that they may have. So initially what happens when turning 65, you have to make a decision as to whether you want to enroll into Medicare Part A and or Part B. Part B comes with a $105 premium and Part B covers most things. Um, it covers uh, doctor's office visits, uh, uh, anything that's done outside of the hospital um, when you're not checked into the hospital. So if you could go have an MRI or a CAT scan or you're getting a lot of tests run or you're going to get injections or infusions, um, you're not checked into the hospital. Uh, outpatient surgeries, ambulance rides, uh, durable medical equipment, all sorts of things are covered under Medicare Part B. Um, Part A covers inpatient hospital stays, skilled nursing stays up to 100 days, and also, um, trying to think I'm having a lapse, but um, hospice, the end of life um, type thing. So those are the three things that Medicare Part A covers. So most people will sign up on Medicare Part A or should sign up on Medicare Part A at their 65th birthday. Then, depending on whether you have and you're going to continue to work past 65 and you're covered under a group plan, uh, then you need to come in and take an, a look at your options. Is it better to go on Medicare? Will it provide you better coverage? Will it cost you less? Sometimes some employer plans are very expensive. Uh, you still have to pay a lot, and a lot of them have very high deductibles. Okay. And so a lot of times people will choose to come off those plans, come on to Medicare. For a lot of people, though, they have very good health insurance benefits, and so for a lot of those people, it's best for them probably to stay on to uh, the group plan, uh, waive Medicare Part B, and save the $105 premium. So it's a case-by-case -case situation, really, for, for each individual okay. as to what they would want to do. So. Okay, so the best way, basically, to find out, should I keep this, should I go to the other whatever, is to come in and talk to you. Uh, really correct. There's there's a lot of questions people have. Uh, people still wonder um, if they waive Medicare Part B, what does that entail? Right. Um, can I enroll later? Uh, are there? Am I going to be penalized? A lot of people have heard about penalties and so forth. Um, so we just need to sit down and, and explain to people, and we do this all the time. We have a lot of people sending us and a lot of employers sending us people in to help ask and answer those questions right. that, that they have. So uh, really important to come in and do a little bit of planning beforehand so that you know. A lot of times we'll just help people, and we help people all the time set, sign up for Medicare Part A and or B. We can do it really simply on the computer and help yeah. you um, accomplish that. Uh, then once that's done, um, and again, we'll try to make a determination whether you want to keep your group plan, right. uh, whether it's beneficial for you to uh, move and come come totally into Medicare and give you your options. So there's a lot of different options also with Medicare as to how that's covered and so forth. So a lot to, lot to, lot to plan for. Well, and I think that's the main thing to bring out here, isn't it? That the, you have so many choices, so many options. It's really confusing just to, you know, regular person on the street that doesn't have all your expert knowledge. So the best thing to do, make an appointment, come in and see Bob and his great staff here at LSS. And, and you really do take the time to sit down and explain things. That's very important to an older person. Yeah, we do. A lot of times uh, we'll help people three, four years in advance of them ever really? being ready to come on to Medicare or advise them that, um, gosh, no, you ought to stay on your employer plan at this point in time. But uh, three, four years later, they come in and see us and we'll help them get enrolled and take care of all those issues. Okay, so this is this is huge because we have a, a growing number of elderly or el older people in our community, of which I am heading my way myself. So I'll be making an appointment one of these days. Tell us where you are, Bob, where the people can come and get help from you. 
Uh, we're located at 169 East, 1600 North in North Logan, Utah. Yeah. We're just north of um, the Walmart here in North Logan, yeah. uh, kind of towards the back end of their, the north uh, east corner of their yeah. building. Uh, on our office it has LSS insurance and gold lettering out in front of the doors and a couple of big farmers logos too because we also offer uh, those types of coverages and so forth. Yeah. Um, our phone number is uh, 435 seven five two nine four nine three and then just go ahead and give us a call and make an appointment and uh, we'd love to help them and and ask all those questions the other big thing that i really think is a factor for us is we're here locally so as you have questions with medicare or you have claim problems or you're not understanding your coverage and that we're here all year long to help right. with those things so that's again huge for people who are getting older they don't want to have to run to salt lake two or three times a week to get a couple of questions answered you're here you're here all year round and you you guys are great you you guys are great to answer people's questions and just really look after them Thank you very much. I mean it. You should come in and see these guys. Bob's great, and so are the rest of the staff. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.